Okay, we are joined by the race winner for the race day raffle series.com 175 NASCAR Camping World Truck Series here at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. And our race winner is Kyle Busch. He drives the number 18 Toyota Tundra Toyota for Kyle Busch Motorsports. He's joined by his crew chief, Eric Phillips. A couple things uh, before we start. This is Kyle Busch's 21st NASCAR Camping World Truck Series win. And he's only raced 80 times in this series. It's his 80th career national series win across the three national series, Sprint Cup Nationwide and Camping World Truck Series. And it's the sixth straight victory in the Camping World Truck Series for Toyota. And they've never done that before. Seven? Seventh Six. straight. Six. Sixth straight win for Toyota in the Camping World Truck Thanks, Series. Thanks, Lee. <laughs> so, anyhow, with that out of the way, Kyle, uh, congratulations. What a great race out there today. It was. It was, uh, it was a battle, that's for sure. It wasn't easy. And, uh, you know, it was a tough, hard, tough, hard-fought battle for us in our Toyota today. And, you know, we just didn't quite have it to go in for the first 20 laps. But then after that, it seemed like we can really start clicking some laps off and, and get away from the guys behind us. But, uh, you know, it took us a little bit to get there. But... Uh, Eric and, and Rick and the guys did a great job, you know, getting this thing here and coming with uh, somewhat similar of a setup. Maybe they've both kind of ran in the past. And so, uh, you know, without these guys here, we wouldn't be where we're at. And I feel like the guys do an awesome job at the shop. And they, they work their butts off. They just want to come out here and win races, and, and uh, that's what we're here to do. So it was neat to be able to get the Toyota truck to victory lane and uh, for the first time this year. And then, uh, you know, to thank our supporters all around with Flexco and, and Traxxas and Z-Line Designs, NOS Energy Drink, everybody that has helped this program. You know, it, it's, it may be a little bit of a lot, but uh, a lot of people, but any little bit helps. Eric Phillips, <clears throat> talk about the uh, performance out there today of the uh, number 18 pit crew. Um, they did a good job. Um, the first stop was uh, flawless. Um, we beat Kevin out of the pits pretty easily there. And the second stop, we knew we had to tr make our truck better and uh, made a decision to make a track bar adjustment. And it, it probably hurt us a little bit on our pit stop, but uh, Kyle behind the wheel got back in front there on that restart, and it was an important part of their day. Questions for Kyle or Eric? We'll take one front row here, Reed Spencer. Reed Spencer with Sport News. Kyle, um, can you just describe your view of that final restart? Did you think you had him cleared off at two, and how hard did you hit the wall there? Um, it uh, Well, on the restart before that, I kind of got washed up into the marbles and stuff and unfortunately got back there behind the 31. But then on that last restart, uh, I knew I needed to have a good run through one and two. And if I didn't clear him off a of two, then he was going to run all the way down the back straightaway and side draft me and, and get back alongside of me and get me loose in three. So I knew I had to clear him. Regardless of what was going to happen, I had to clear him. And uh, I tried rubbing off on him. And, um, you know, he was still there just a little bit, and it turned me in the wall. And it was, it was a hard hit. It knocked my helmet crooked. And, uh, you know, I wasn't sure what I had getting down into turn three. But then those guys got to racing back there, and the truck felt fine through three and four. You know, I was surprised, really. That, uh, that it felt the way it did, and we were just able to kind of mosey around for the next couple laps and bring it home. So uh, glad that it was okay, or okay enough to drive. I'm sure after, I don't know, about 30 laps or so, it would get tight because it knocked the fender in pretty bad. But uh, overall, it, was, it wasn't that bad. But you got to do what you got to do in order to win the races coming down towards the end. And, um, you know, last restart, green-white checker, you got to go. Other questions for Kyle or Eric? Pachris and then back to Reed. Bob Park, Christy Daly. Would, would there have been any way for you to catch him if the caution didn't come out? Uh, I was, was I gaining? Yeah, it took two or three laps to get the marbles off the tires, but uh, the lap that caution come out, he ran about three tenths faster. So it just, if you're going to close that gap, if you could have got there and then got by, um, that was my biggest concern. Uh, just if you could get there. And just passing here is just so hard. We've seen it all day with, with Kevin and, and Kyle racing each other side by side. Yeah, it was it was going to be close. I felt like I could get there, uh, but whether or not I could have passed him clean in enough time, I don't know. But uh, it may have gotten or had to have gotten a little bit ugly. <laughs> oh, that was pretty ugly too. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, it was ugly. But the the product of why I was in that position was pretty ugly as well. 
So it just turned it, it just turned ugly with about 15 to go. You've been talking a lot of, recently about finding sponsorship for the truck team. Do you ever feel like I mean, having won five of 11 starts this year, like what have I got to do? Uh, yeah. You know, it, it's it's not a cheap price though. You know, a lot of these other teams can do it for a cheaper price than what I can. Um, you know, I've got uh, a, a lot of people that that causes a big overhead. We build our own chassis and we hang our own bodies. You know, that's that's probably 12 more people than uh, it's about 12 more people than what a typical truck team has already. And I don't farm out the pit crew. You know, the guys that work on the truck we bring to the racetrack to crew the truck because if we have a problem like getting into the wall or whatever in the beginning part of the race we can come down those guys can fix it they know how to work on it because they do it all day long uh, instead of farming out a pit crew then you know you're only paying those guys maybe 200 250 bucks uh, to come pit your truck but they don't know how to work on it so uh, we feel like we're doing it the right way unfortunately it's a little bit more expensive to do it that way and our price tags a little up but um, if all you want to do is win I mean I'm not saying that's all we do but uh, you know we, we've got a really good shot at it. I mean we've been fast everywhere we've been and um, you know it's been great to run as consistently as we have up front and it takes great people like Eric and, and Marty and Rick and, and the guys that that, uh, that build these trucks at the shop the chassis and the bodies are all pretty good other questions Bob has another one can you talk about just racing Harvick side by side for that many laps and do you guys have a pretty good confidence in each other to be able to do that uh yeah i mean through the beginning part of the race i thought he was just toying with me just wanted to run side by side all the time and then finally i could get away from him and i could run away from him so i was kind of wondering okay well his truck just must be faster than mine at the beginning of the run and i didn't want to just let him go by because then uh the way track position was it was a little bit harder to pass than what we'd have liked to have seen and his truck seemed to be better through traffic than mine was, especially early in the race. We kind of got it a little bit better. Um, but I just, in these short truck races and track position, you just can't let somebody go. So that's why, uh, that's why you know, etiquette here is so much different than what it is in the Cup Series for sure. Uh, and I'm, Harvick was, he was getting a little upset, I think. You know, he was, I tell you what, I don't know, I got to put a new left rear quarter panel on it just from him banging into me off the corner sometimes. So... Uh, he was getting a little testy, and then it, it showed, you know, there at the end of the race. He was fed up and tired that he couldn't get by me all day and uh, wanted to use my truck up and try to force me up the racetrack. But we just we kept it clean as we could, I guess, and, uh, you know, we didn't wreck each other, so that was good, and we both came out of here with, uh, with a good day. Anything else? Kyle, Eric, congratulations. Right. Kyle, good Thanks. luck tomorrow. You got it. Thank you.